go. All right, when performing the AP pelvis, you do need to collimate uh, top to bottom. You need to make sure that the pelvis is definitely centered to the IR. The top of the pelvis is right here at the top of the iliac crest, and the bottom of the pelvis is down here at the ischial tuberosities. Where would you find those? You cannot palpate for them on a real patient. So if you find the greater trochanter, and at the lowest part of the greater trochanter, that's the level of the um, iliac uh, ischial tuberosities. So here's the top of the pelvis, here's the bottom of the pelvis. Halfway between those two points would be here, which is right where my line is for centering, which is also lined up to the center of the IR. Now that I've placed the pelvis in the middle of the IR, I can then collimate down lengthwise so that I still have all of the anatomy of interest. I'm still including at least a quarter of the proximal femur, which is required by Merrill's. As you can see on the left side, my marker placement is easily seen. I did not collimate it off. Yet, where I placed my right marker over here, it is collimated off. So, you need to pay attention to where you're placing your marker so that when you do collimate, the marker will be within the collimated border. Before you take your exposure, make sure to rotate, to separate the feet and rotate the ankles so that the greater trochanters are now seen in profile. That's it.